Hello, insiders. I am Kyle, a partner manager here at YouTube. So last month, we announced a new integration with Shopify and YouTube to give creators in YPP aiming to sell their products on YouTube a more seamless way to do so. If you missed that video, we'll link it down below. Today, we want to give creators a more holistic view of the live shopping experience and how to optimize. Let's get into it. So what is live shopping? Live shopping in YouTube lets you showcase your products and exclusive offers through real-time interactive experiences that allow your community to shop what they're seeing without them ever having to leave the live stream. Live shopping drives a unique sense of urgency and compels them to tune in for can't miss out moments like new product announcements, exclusive deals, and limited time offers. Eligible creators can showcase products via multiple features, including tagging products to live streams, pinning products to live chat, and the use of the product shelf. So who is eligible for this? Well, all YPP creators with their own merch store or a storefront like Spring or Shopify enabled are eligible for live shopping. But an important note, product tagging in live shopping is not eligible for music channels while pinning products and shelf are still available. For viewers, we'll leave a link down below with more info on where live shopping is available and where we're planning to expand more in the future. So let's dive a little deeper into the live shopping features. First things first, you're going to want to link your store and set up your live stream. Once you have that set up, you can enable product tagging. Eligible creators can tag and organize products from a store owned by them. For example, if you have a creator website, a Spring account, or a Shopify account, you can then use that for the live stream using the picker in YouTube Studio. To select products for a live stream, go to the live control room. Below the live stream preview, click on the shopping tab. Next, to open the customize tool, click customize. Search for any of your available products and then drag and drop up to 30 products. If you want to remove a product, simply click the trash can next to that product. Finally, click save and your changes will be reflected in the individual video level settings. This leads us to our next feature, pinning products to the live chat and the product shelf. When a creator pins a product, viewers will see that product at the top of their live chat during the live stream. When a viewer clicks on a product, this will open up a panel below the live stream with more details and options to purchase the product. Now you want to start a live stream using the live control room. Click on the shopping tab below the live stream preview and select one item to promote. Click and drag it to the pin products panel and then pin the product. And then if you need to unpin an item, simply click unpin in the live stream preview. Now, a few things to keep in mind during your live stream. Products you selected and tagged will be shown in the view products label within the product list and the product shelf underneath the live stream. You can also pin and unpin products in the chat during the live stream itself. Lastly, creators can also add special discounts and promotions to each pin product. Next, let's talk about some best practices. So here are a few ways that you can optimize your audience. First is to promote your live stream. You can share the broadcast URL on your own social channels and ensure that users know when to tune in at least 48 hours before your live stream. You can also create a channel trailer or a teaser video to help promote the event and then feature that trailer video on the featured video spot. It's also a really good idea to connect your social media accounts to your channel for easy sharing and to help inform fans. It's also a good idea to create a live shelf to display your upcoming and live events that are present on your channel. We also recommend adding an associated website. This website will help us improve the quality of search results and verify your channel as the official representation of your brand on YouTube. It's also a great idea to customize your channel art to display information about the particular live event. And you can use cards and call to action extensions to link to the live event and help users set reminders. And lastly, of course, is using community posts to extend your social strategy, leverage polls and interactivity to invite users to be part of the event's content itself. Now, a few more things to think about during your live stream. We recommend that you continuously interact with users through the live chat and live polls. We also recommend using live redirects to build excitement and promote your live stream. Once your live stream ends, autoplay will move your viewers to the premiere or live stream of your choice. Leverage chat to keep conversations brand safe. You can use YouTube features to manage the chat and keep the experience and conversation brand safe. You can do this by creating a list of blocked keywords, enabling hold for review, and assign a human moderator for manual review. You can also enable slow mode, which limits how often each individual user can comment by setting the, li the time limit between those comments. You can also enable live commentary for invite only chat. Another thing worth considering is subscriber only live chat to restrict posting chat messages to only your subscribers. You can specify how long viewers need to be subscribed before posting. There's a minimum of one minute here, and that can be used to encourage subscription from your live stream viewers. So you did it. Your live stream is over. What next? After the stream is over, make sure to archive the live stream to capture any buzz and allow for repeat viewing. 
We also recommend adding chapters to your live stream so viewers can navigate around. So we hope this guide gives creators a better understanding of the features that are available to them and serves as a way to optimize your viewer experience. We'll be sure to keep you posted as we launch more features in the live space. And as always, leave your questions and comments below and keep it real.